Banks. I'm here with the parents of Andrew Wiggins, Mitchell Wiggins right here. How you doing, Mitch? I'm doing good, Spud. How you doing? I'm doing excellent. Thank you. Uh, and Marita Payne, Wiggins, how are you, ma'am? I'm fine, thanks. I just want to congratulate you guys on a tremendous performance here by the Vaughn squad. Talk about how special Andrew is. Andrew, he just has the tools and he works with them. He's got strength, he's got speed, he's got agility, he's got endurance, he can jump. He has uh, his, his mental capacity for basketball is right there on, on, you know, on, on par. And so he has all those packages together and he's, he's been able to produce with what he has. I'm very proud of Andrew, but this is just the beginning of something exciting for him. So um, he just knows what he has to work on. He has to get in a team that will provide the opportunities for him to do what he's able to do. And um, we're just looking forward for Andrew to keep climbing and climbing and to reach his goal. I just try to set my goals high and try to reach my goals. Is being the first pick in 2014 a goal of yours? It's a dream. Mm -hmm. I think it worked out for the better because it's a smaller town, there's less stuff to do, so that keeps me more focused and out of trouble. You know, Toronto's a big city, a lot of people. It's just crazy. Down here it's more low-key. I expected it to be like this because, like, I... Negus and Stefano, people were here before me, they told me how it was going to be. It's like a lot of country, farms and stuff. So. Last year, that's the reason why I came here, because the Canadians were on the team. So I felt, I feel comfortable right away. It makes you feel like you're back home, like you're not missing anything, because uh, Monty's my childhood friend, and I used to chill with Xavier and Navelle, so we're all, we all get along off the court too. There's never no problems, and never no awkward moments, we can just be ourselves. There's always been good basketball players out of Vaughn, but just they weren't really exposed to anything else. Like they didn't get a chance to really get on the side. And I think once I got the chance, it's opening up for a lot of people. Just like Techie, good players. If you're a good player, you're gonna find a way out no matter what. And that's what me and him did. And now we're making the best of our out of our opportunity. What do you miss the most about back home, man? What do you miss the most about Canada? Grandma's cooking. <laughs> I think they got used to it because they sent my brothers off before they sent me off. So I think they got used to it and they know what it, you have to uh, make sacrifices to make it in the world. And they did the same thing when they were young, like when dad went out to Florida State, my mom went out to Florida State. So they know what it's all about. You just always work hard when I'm in the gym, work hard in games. Think deeply to when you were running around, playing up in Glen Shields, uh, you know, at the center where everybody goes after work. Did you envision yourself at this point? I mean, pretty much you're at the top of the world and I know you're a kid who keeps it humble. Did this ever cross your mind that one day I'd be in America and could be at this level? I always had big dreams, but I thought I'd have to work hard to get it. It came easier than I thought. Not easier than I thought, but it came, it came quicker than I thought. So I remember I was like grade six on St. David's. I barely played. It was me and Tamver on the bench. We didn't even get in some games. And then now I'm here. People all coming to see me and everything. It's coach. <laughs> I think I was good enough to play with. I played up too a year out, but I think it was a coach. He like played his son. His son was not good. He like started his son and started his 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 friends' sons and everything like that, so. And Vaughn, I think we had a good team too. I think we could be a lot of American, we did be a prep school, Lee Academy, I think we could be a lot of American teams. We were very underrated that, that year. I try to have fun, I also try to, I also try to win. Uh, and I know whenever we play, we're always gonna get everyone's best shot, so we just gotta bring in every game, uh, play it hard. I play hard, hopefully God blesses us with the opportunity to win.